Aha. Hello Internet, I am Mike and today I would like to show you how to hook the browser without sending a social engineering message. We will be using many the middle framework and B framework in order to hook the, 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 the target browser so that the person gets hooked and we can send him the payloads and then get him through Metasploit. That means we can perform many post exploitations to the, to the target. So right now, I think without wasting any time, let us begin. And then we need to open first of all B framework. And then after it opens, then we'll be able to, to open our man in the middle framework so that uh, thereafter we can also try to see that we we have our victim on because our victim has some um, okay it says it's unable to connect but uh, it's not a big problem because i'm going to if config uh, it will give me the the Ethernet IP address because the interface that I'm using currently is not uh, is not the the wireless interface, but it's the the Ethernet. So now, uh, because of the Ethernet adapter that I'm using, I got the the IP address which will allow me to to load up this program. So it's beef and it's beef now uh, we are in the B framework and then we need to hook the browser which which has to appear online i my target will be using google chrome because i'm not actually using the the virtual machine so i'm hacking the the the, the real computer the physical machine but i will try to make sure that you see in the other computer what has happened so that the at the end the, the browser appears online so then you will see everything that is going on there all right so now beef is on so let's uh, go to to our terminal then open man in the middle man all right um, then we can ask for help yes now uh, these are the options so without wasting any other time let us try to spoof spoof can the address resolution protocol then you can yes um HSTS mm. that I the interface that I'm using is ETH0 uh, uh, gateway to to view the gateway you, you need to you can route um, then you will see the, the gateway whether you are on Wi-Fi or you are using Ethernet like me so this is all right then I think target uh, our target here is 192.168.88.110 then we need to load the plugins that we want to use here uh, we can use the plugins like um, inject as well as um, JS URL URL uh, which will take the, the path to the beef as we know that beef uses hook.js to, to capture our browsers that means I will take things from here and then I will change the, the IP address for 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 the 
from the local host to the to the one for this uh, machine when it is one the but that means I will I will write like one nine two dot one six eight dot eight eight dot eighteen. This is for for this machine. Now it is easy for us to and then when the the client accesses the the when the client machine accesses the um, the HTTP website using the Google Chrome, then it will be easy for for them to to be uh, hooked on the on the B framework. So right now, let us go to the client machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are in the client computer. So now. Please allow us to be able to, to access the HTTP site like Computer Business Solutions website, which is the, the Sotos based uh, company. Uh, with uh, It's the main company in the Sotos. So, uh, let us try to uh, visit its website and then see what can happen in the command and control. Right now, let's type CBS. Let's see what it is. It's an HTTP site. As you can see, it's not. It's not actually secure. Yes, you can see that. So it's not secure. So then it means that these people are in a, they are easily they, 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 all the clientele that is looking for this surface. This person is uh, in the same Wi-Fi as me. Then this means I have the, the full control over the person who use this website. Basically, if I'm in a hotel, Wi-Fi, or in any hotspot, or let's say in the in the in the restaurant, and this per this person is viewing this website, and um, maybe they want this their service because they offer uh, very very good services here. So I let's say it happens that the viewer of this website is in the same network as me. That means it is easy for this person to get hacked. Thank you very much. Hello Internet, we are back again to the to the to our command and control. So right now you can see that this machine has been hooked right here, and then you can you can see whatsoever things you want to do. Then you can make the person be able to download information that they don't want. For instance, we can send the virus from here, and uh, we can we can send the virus from this command and control to the browser, and we can control all his things. So right now, I think. Uh, it will be very very easy for for us to be able to 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 control everything that they do, and I think uh, if you want to know everything that happen, what everything that happens with the framework, you can come to you can come to to the next tutorial that I'm, I'll be making will be of the framework and. Uh, uh, if you want it, then it will be easy for us to, to, to show you what can happen when the person is now appearing on the online browsers. Thank you very much.